Okay, uh, hello folks. I have a quick review here of the WDTV Play and I'm comparing it to the Apple TV which I also have here. First, let me unbox the WDTV. It comes in a very generic sort of package. I'm kind of surprised there's no you know, nicer looking thing. I'm not sure if that's just the model I got that I picked up from the store, but it's quite plain as you can see. They could work on the packaging a little bit to make it a little brighter. Uh, the reason I picked up the WTV actually was because um, I had, you know, I like the Apple TV. The problem is I have a lot of videos that I just want to play locally off of a disc or something, you know, a USB drive. And the problem is, here's the WDTV Play. Um, you know, uh, Apple TV really doesn't let you hook up a directly, um, you know, a USB stick. And of course, it's also, um, this is the third generation Apple TV. There's no jailbreak really yet for it. And even if there are jailbreaks, they, right now the, the one that uses Plex uh, has to be done over a network. And I don't really want to use my network bandwidth, you know, in an environment like in an office setting where I want to just play stuff off of a disc and have it repeat and loop. I don't need it to use up the bandwidth of the office uh, network. So as you can see, the units are very similar in size. I'm pretty sure WTV uh, decided to really copy the Apple TV very closely. Uh, they changed the bottom into this blue color, I'm not sure why, but it's essentially almost the same form factor as far as units, the, the plugs on the back, as you can see here. You've got the power, you've got an AV out for an old composite um, sort of video, and you have HDMI, network, and an optical. Similar to here, optical. Now the only difference is here, you've got a USB connection. The Apple TV has a USB, but you can't plug anything into there to actually play any media. So that's the WDTV. Now, in the remainder of the box, as you can see, you just lift this up and you take out the rest of this stuff, and you've got your usual assortment of goods. This is the power cable. Okay, it takes, uh, it looks like 12 volts out, 1.5 amp. And you've also got that cable that I mentioned for composite out. I'm not sure if you really need to use that anymore. HDMI is much better, but that would plug into this port right here, the AV out. And they give you the remote, which looks like this. Now the Apple remote's much nicer. You know, you have that clicky feel. It's very simple. This is not too bad. There's a dedicated Netflix button. Um, and I'm not sure what A and B do. I have to read the manual, but essentially it's quite easy to navigate and you get all your podcasts and streams, news. Uh, you know, the software is pretty decent on the, uh, on the WDTV. Maybe it's not as slick and smooth as the Apple TV as far as, you know, the menus and the graphics. I mean, this has a very powerful chip in it uh, versus the WDTV, but it, this will play 1080p just like the Generation 3 Apple TV. And for my needs, at least, I find this to be, you know, for $69.99 versus $99.99, uh, you know, this suits my needs much better because I can, I have a lot of movies that have already, I've already owned uh, or, or DVDs that I've converted over if I need to just play MP4 versions of it. I don't have to be tethered to iTunes and stuck onto the net all the time. This just simply plugs in. It has Wi-Fi built in as well. So I can still hook into Wi-Fi without the need to use any kind of um, internet. It easily hooks in. And, but the nice thing is I can always just take it anywhere I want to a cottage or somewhere where there's no internet access, hook up my uh, USB stick full of movies, and away we go. And I can take, carry my whole library of media around without having to be tethered as I would with the Apple TV to some kind of a network and using the network bandwidth all the time to try to stream video over to it. So that's my quick uh, review of the Apple DT, uh, WD TV. Okay, so I figured out what those buttons on the remote were. You see on the remote, A and B. 
So those and Netflix. So A and B can be set, and that's what you go into on the computer, and on the WDTV. If you link up here to settings, and then you can see here under remote, under system, remote settings, you can set your buttons. So for example, if you want your blue button, you can have it do search, setup, eject, capture snapshot, you see? These are all the different apps you can have it run. You see? And you can just choose it for it to launch automatically. And you can set both green and blue buttons this way. So it makes it easier to jump to anything that you want. So that's, uh, that's the remote settings. Okay, this is the main screen on the WDTV Play. As you can see here, you have your weather, AccuWeather you can set. There's different channels here you can click on for viewing films. Um, my storage will allow you to link up to your drive. Um, here are the different sections. As you can see here, you have the movie section, which is what we're in now. You can continue into a few more apps. And I'm sure they'll update them as time comes along. This is web videos, so you have different sections where you can watch videos on the web. You have uh, several choices for um, music, if you want to go to certain websites for music. There's a Picasso and Flickr. Um, here we have the um, sports and game section where you can click in. Now the, uh, the nicest thing here is the you have Facebook and news feed. Now the news feed is sort of like the podcast area on the iPod. There are lots of video blogs and various other links here. As you can see all these different categories. So for example you go to blogs and you know you have uh, various previews here, blend, uh, you know, money talk, you know, all of these different channels are essentially um, related to different shows. Just a few other notes uh, regarding the Apple TV versus the WTV. I wanted to mention the remotes. Now the battery, it's a little bulkier, but the nice news is, I mean, you have just regular a couple of AAA batteries. They're easy to change. You don't have to go fishing around, you know, for anything. Versus the Apple TV, you know, you've got this uh, nice looking slick remote. The problem is that, as with, you know, with all Apple TV or Apple products, there's proprietary connections and batteries and so on so it becomes very um, you know difficult I can't even open this thing there we go you have you have like a watch battery I'm sure they're not too hard to find but I mean who has this thing laying around at home usually probably not too many people I mean they're cheap but I don't know it just seems to me like more you know stuff you have to have around the house and you know you have to try to get a supply ready but these batteries should last quite a long time. And the other thing is the Apple TTV. I mean, it's such a fail, you know, it's such a great looking slick device, but because I guess Apple made lots of deals with the media companies to allow them to stream movies and do so on, you know, they probably were forced to disable the local playing feature off of the USB. I'm pretty sure that's the reason because there's no real technical limitation to being able to use this as we know but you know I'm sure it's the big companies and the corporations that made deals with Apple and vice versa in order to allow Apple to have so many content uh, streams on iTunes all the movies all of the different libraries so they probably are trying to force you into their ecosystem at every step of the way without allowing the box to be used for anything other than some kind of internet connectivity and iTunes controlling everything so they can get statistics and information on you. Uh, whereas a lot of the other players that we are available like Roku and WDTV, they don't really care. They have all that internet connectivity as well, but uh, maybe not as expansive as iTunes, but there's a lot of podcasts and other freely available sources you can get media from. Uh, through, b besides going through iTunes and even of the same content for, for a lot of uh, things but the main advantage you can just plug something in and play it and it recognizes AVI's, MKV's, MP3's 
uh, MP4s, various other formats, which really, you know, many people have in their libraries. So it's much better, at least for my use, and in an office where we don't want to use the network bandwidth, to have something like this. And at $69 versus $99 for the Apple TV, I mean, you're even saving money. Um, but anyway, that's my opinion. Um, I just think for our needs, the WTV works better. But, you know, I'm using this at home and uh, at home where I don't really care about my network so much because I don't use it for too many things in the office. Uh, at home, you know, the network, I can stream and, and do various things with this. So that's my take on things. Thank you.